What's up guys, your fighting float souls coach here, D-Man. Sorry, um, that one guy with the awesome hat. As you can see, we've got a new team member on our layout, and that's Mandibuzz. I dropped Vaporeon and I picked up Mandibuzz because I saw Mandibuzz as a free agent, and I said, fuck it, we have three water types, we have two that do the exact same job, and one of them is Tentacruel, and Tentacruel has been doing a badass job. Vaporeon did very great against the Ditto week one, but kind of in love with Tentacruel now. So, we got Mandibuzz to replace Vaporeon. Uh, this is our rematch with the Dream Street Dark Rise. Uh, their coach ended up withdrawing. So, we have a different coach, and they are 0 and 6. So they are eliminated from playoff contention. We need to win here to pretty much to make sure that we could possibly get a playoff win. That we could potentially be in the playoffs. So, here we go. I'm scared. I'm hyped. We got, uh, Uxi, Flygon, Choice Bandit Flygon, uh, Mega Ampharos, Nasty Plot Togekiss, Choice Scarf Fikini with barely any speed because I just need the outspeed as elf, and Mandibuzz physically defensive. So, he's gonna go with Sableye, Mega Sableye, and I'm like, alright, well, I can click, uh, Nice and powerful U-turn. And get out of here. He goes with the Toxic because he had Prankster turn 1. I'm okay with that. Uh, Bikini is not going to stay in long. It has Choice card. Now here, I expect him to switch out into Aegislash. So I went into Flygon. He goes to a knockoff. He gets rid of my Choice Band. That sucks. Trash. You're a little literal piece of trash. So I go for the U-turn just to get a little damage off. And I'm going back in Togekiss. He goes for the Will-O-Wisp. I'm okay with that. You know. Because... Um, I've got, okay, he's got protect, he's running crazy sets right now. So I'm like, alright, he's going to protect, he's going to be stally. He burned me, he didn't, that didn't kill. He burned me, he didn't, uh, toxic me, and my leftovers are gone, but I've got roost. So I'm going to roost up here. Now, right now, it looks like he can do absolutely nothing to me besides this burn damage. So I'm going to set up a nasty plot. Because I'm thinking he's going to protect, he's going to do crazy stuff, but I'm going to dazzle him just because I wanted the kill. And then at that point, when he protected, I'm like, you know what? Jeez, Devin, I'm going to set up. I dazzle him because I'm just tired of him. It's getting annoying. And he was in Blastoise. Now, Blastoise here. Fake out Blastoise. That's surprising. But I know I'm going to be faster than Blastoise. So, I'm going to roost up. I want my health to be high. Now, I expect him to go for Ice Beam or something. He goes for Whirlpool, getting all that residual damage on me. That's 25% a turn. That's pretty good. So, I'm going to roost up. I want to be full as health as possible. He's getting little bits of damage on all the time. But, it's okay. I can't switch out anymore, so I can't do anything. But, here, I went for the Nasty Plot. Now, I'm not sure if this should kill Rhyperior, but I am kind of don't have anything else for Rhyperior. Rhyperior is a big threat. I have Victini with Grass Knot and Mega Ampharos with HP Grass, but Mega Ampharos will only live like an Earthquake if I get a Cotton Guard up, so I was like, fuck it, Dazzling Gleam Time. And it kills, straight up, which is awesome. Now, here he's got the um, Blastoise. I'm going to Roost because I expect him to do shenanigans, and it's going to do 25% of my health, at least. So. I'm like, all right, well, Dazzling Gleam now. That's a two-hit KO. I'm cool with that. He misses. We only did 7%, 8%, so it's not like it really matters that much. Because Togekiss was still lived. He's going for Protect. He's got Protect on this thing. But I wanted to roost up because I knew all that little residual damage would probably end up killing me. It would be really close where I was uncomfortable. So I Dazzling Gleam here. I get a crit. Did the crit matter? I'm not sure. Probably not. But whatever. We got the kill. And then he goes into Clefable. Now Clefable could potentially be a threat to my team. He goes for Moonblast. That does a quarter. And really I'm just going to go Dazzle Gleam here. Because he's only doing a quarter with Moonblast. I've got a Nasty Plot up. I'm like, I want to kill. So Togekiss is going to die here. Because, I mean, if it doesn't die here, it's pretty much dead. To whatever. A Shadow Sneak or Bullet Punch or whatever. So, I have the Dazzling Gleaming. He's going to go for the Shadow Wall. Doesn't have Shadow Sneak, maybe. I'm not sure exactly. So, 
That's okay. Well, I got special with King here, so he can King Shield all he wants because I'm not going for Recreate. I'm going for Blue Flare. And, yeah, he King Shields. Now, I mean, it's pretty obvious that he's going to go into Pooja, but he's been playing so radically that I'm not sure what he's going to do. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to go for a Blue Flare again. And that does 18%. It's not very good. But he's got leftovers. He's not a Salt Fest. But still, if I do a little bit of chip damage to this thing, I can kill it with Flygon with Outrage, even if I don't have a um, choice ban. But I don't really want to go for Outrage on him, because if I go for Outrage, then I'm going to have to go for Outrage on the Aegislash. And Differential is a thing, so I kind of want that to be a little bit higher than nothing. So I'm just going to play this little stall game, go for a U-turn. I've got one, two, four members on my team with U-turn. Ooxie, Flygon, Mandibuzz, and... Uh, Big Teeny. Now, it's okay that you went for infestation and then I'm trapped here because I have U-turn and that ignores that trap. So, Wonder Woman going for the U-turn. Gooey, doesn't matter. And now, here, I'm in Flygon. Earthquake should kill. Right here. Because I got rid of his leftovers. He's, he put the toxic on me. It's annoying. But I'm roosting up because I have roost on my choice band of Flygon because in case it got too low. Now, here, Earthquake gonna kill. Earthquake does way. Oh no, Outrage would kill. Earthquake has a 2 KO, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm good with that. I'm good with the 2 KO. Now, here, Age Slash, you know, first turn, he's gonna go for a King Shield. I wasn't even thinking about that, so I'm like, fuck it, I want the kill, I want the kill, I'm gonna Earthquake. And now, I'm gonna kill him right here, but he gets a double King Shield. So, Flygon dies, that sucks. But, you know what? It's okay. Flygon got a kill. It's up higher on the MVP listing. And, now we got Victini. Victini's got Blue Flare. That doesn't do... Oh, it does a ton, but I mean, it doesn't do enough. Well, he's gonna Destiny Bond. Now here, I could try to preserve Victini, but I mean, he's just gonna keep on Destiny Bonding. So, I'm just gonna go for the win and the 3-0. And, we Blue Flare. We kill it. Victini dies. But Victini did a great job. It killed. Togekiss got... Three kills on the one on the Blastoise, one on the Clefable, and one on the Rhyperior. Oh no, four kills! Clefable, Rhyperior, Blastoise, and Mega Sableye. Four kills for Togekiss, and it have been killless before. Super happy about that. Superfly is in the building. You're fighting Floatzels. Potentially, you can have a playoff spot if crazy shenanigans doesn't happen. And guess what? After watching the other matches, crazy shenanigans did not happen. We are in the playoffs guaranteed. So next match, when we reface against the New York Matangs and Iophis, we are going to be bringing pure heat. So that's going to be fun. And then we face him week one in the playoffs, so then we're going to have to be super serious. So thanks for watching. Goodbye, you